Four years ago, you were already talking about this incredible growth story. And congratulations on the public listing of Black Rifle Coffee Company. We should be so incredibly happy. So this morning we are finally ringing the bell and we officially will be a public traded company. Essentially going public gives us the capital and resources to grow the business at an exponential rate and pretty much go after a goal of hiring 10,000 veterans. Today is a huge day the company is going public. So it is, uh, was it six years of work, seven years of work, culminates to this. So it's freaking amazing. It's fucking awesome. Wild, man. I drink your coffee all the time. Do you really? Oh yeah. I'll be doing the show for you guys. I have feed from San Antonio. Oh, right we're on. bringing Perfect. in. Is it working? It's working great. Great. Yeah. That's cool. If you talk to anybody at Black Rifle, they'll tell you the best part is you're just getting started. So welcome to the greatest community of companies on earth. Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange. Please join me in giving a very, very warm and loud welcome to Evan. This is one of the first podiums I haven't had to put a book or something underneath in order to get to, so I can appreciate your thoughtfulness here. Um, quite literally, this is, uh, this is a surreal experience. The people that drive Black Rifle Coffee, it's not the CEO, it's not the CFO, it's not the capital, it's the customer that continues to trust us with their money to reinvest the capital into the growth of Black Rifle Coffee. Let us never forget why we're here and who put us here. We have to maintain our mission focus, our dedication to the customer. We have to lead and inspire people to hire veterans and serve those who serve in an ethical way where we can reinvest what we've done here at the New York Stock Exchange back into the mission, back into the purpose, and continue to grow Black Rifle Coffee into the largest, most purpose-driven company in the world. Everybody, we should be so incredibly fucking happy. <laughs> This is a lot of combat power here. <laughs> Your focus is just amazing. You know, you bring these warriors on, and I've served with some of them. Clint, I mean, we were hooking and jabbing in the Battle of Fallujah. So, you know, thank you for everything that you do for these great warriors. Your mission and your focus is spot on. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. We knew it was a really important day for the company. We really wanted to make it about the company and about the mission and being able to work with a lot of the nonprofits that we've either worked with in the past or want to work with in the future. So I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, for coming out and participating with us because it really does mean a lot to, to me personally I know everybody here for us to give back on this moment. It's a special moment We want to be able to share with everybody. Unfortunately, there's only so much room here, right? You know, I, I can't bring 800 plus people. I'd love to uh, Or the millions of customers, but it means a lot to me. So thank you guys very much so Hey, buddy. Is it all right? Yeah. Make the first sergeant proud? Yeah. You yeah. made me, you made me misty. <laughs> I got misty for a second. <laughs> the most exciting challenge that we had was the bell that we worked on with Grizzly Forge. I just came to the guys on Monday and I was like, hey, I just got this event, but I have this crazy idea. Um, they came into the forge 
I don't know, maybe a week ago, and we're like, hey, do you want to make a bell? And we spent about three and a half days on it. She got all the mechanisms working. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty epic moment to be a part of that and to make something that, you know, is pretty historic for this company. I've followed Black Rifle from the beginning and they've helped me out, my family, my business. So it's a pretty epic thing to be a part of. Like Evan said, it's it's surreal. It's uh, come a long way making stupid videos in the garage, and uh, it's really it's really cool moments. I'm really excited for my friends, but I think I'm more excited about the fact that. Evan just said fuck on national television. If Evan could say fuck on national television, why couldn't I have my dick out, man? Oh, it's just fuck. Can I swear? Fuck? Shit? Cock? It's awesome. Super happy for all my friends. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting for someone to come out. That feels like a big part of it. Like, how the fuck did they let us get away with it? I'm just fucking amazed that it says rifle up there that fucking big in Manhattan. I've watched people walking by here, I'm like, good God. What sets for Black Rifle is we keep doing what we're doing really well, which is making great coffee, great content, and serving that to people across the country that love America. You know, an unbelievable journey to this point, having a positive impact on the lives of millions of people. Any parting remarks you'd like to deliver, Tom, on such a special morning? Yeah, we like to think we're the only mission-driven lifestyle beverage company, not just coffee company, but beverage company. And the mission is all about serving premium coffee and media to those who love America, particularly active military veterans, police and firefighters, and paying it forward to hire and inspire veterans. Thanks to everybody on the Black Rifle team for getting us to this point, but we are just getting rolling. Maybe this is like everything that's right with America, when we don't even acknowledge how good this fucking place is, and it's always all bad all the time, but like, we fucking did this. Something's going right. Today is one step closer to getting 10,000 veterans hired with Black Rifle. Um, I feel that, I kind of felt like I lost my purpose after I retired from the military, and Black Rifle's given me that back. That's been the goal, the mission from the beginning. So I hired 10,000 veterans, and now this is, this is a fundamental step in making sure that that process stays intact. We're gonna have so many awesome people aggregated in one place. That the amount of things we can accomplish with that, that shared mindset, drive, and just like that, that personality type, I don't even, I can't even imagine it because I couldn't have imagined a year ago we'd be here now. To me, the, the folks that run Black Rifle and everybody that works here, uh, they've already done so much for our community. Before they even come to work for Black Rifle, they've already done so much for our country, uh, for our community, and for, obviously for my family and all of our families, uh, in serving in the military. And then they go beyond that and, and build a business that continues to keep giving back to the community. It's an awesome, awesome concept.